much for joining in. We are all aware about the UPI payment gateways, right? And we all know it is the trend and the future. Post demonetization, we all rely more on the paperless transactions and prefer using digital payment portals, even if it's a transaction of 5 rupees, 2 rupees, or hundreds or thousands. It has set the trend for e wallets or mobile wallets. The significant niche of such online payments is payment banks. Obtaining a payment bank license is crucial in order to start any payment gateway. Are you also someone who's looking into that area of business anytime soon? Furthermore, proper advisory solutions are all that you need. So look forward in the video and get all the details. A significant change took place in the Indian economic system after demonetization. Payments Bank refers to a brand new bank model conceptualized by the Reserve Bank of India in 2014. Such banks can accept a confined deposit of up to an upper limit of 1 lakh per customer, which is likely to increase further as we all know it's the future. The payment banks are the latest addition to the banking sector. They do not provide loans as well as credit card services and facilities. While payment banks render an error of other services such as debit cards, ATM cards, mobile banking, net banking, etc. Moreover, by procuring a payment bank license, a bank can operate both current and savings cards. A payment bank license is a mandatory requirement to open a payment bank in India. Let's understand what are the capital requirements you want to go ahead and obtain a payment bank license in India. A payment bank should have a minimum of Rs. 100 crores as paid up equity capital. Tire first capital should be at least 7.5% of the risk weighted assets. Tire second capital must be limited to a maximum of 100% of the total tire first capital. A payment bank should maintain a minimum capital adequacy ratio of 15% of its risk weighted assets which is subject to an any higher percentage as may be specified by the Reserve Bank of India from time to time. A payment bank is not permitted to deal with sophisticated products. It means that CAR, that is Capital Adequacy Ratio, is ascertained as per the Basel Committee's standardized approaches. Now, who is exactly eligible to acquire a payment bank license? Individuals, professionals, real sector cooperatives, public sector entities, supermarket chains, mobile telephone companies, non-banking financial companies, that is NBFCs. Now, there are other applicants too who fit well in the eligibility criteria. If you want to go ahead further, let's understand the mandatory compliances for payment banks in India. A payment bank is not allowed to accept NRI deposits. A payment bank can give ATMs or debit cards but is not allowed to offer loan and visa administrations. A payment bank needs to have a minimum paid up capital of rupees 100 crores. A payment bank is authorized to accept current deposits as well as investment funds bank deposits from the private ventures up to a defined limit. Payment bank must use the words payments bank in its name for differentiating itself from other banks. A payment bank needs to accept RBI, that's Reserve Bank of India compliances on data security, cyber laws, web banking, electronic banking, technology risk management. Now let's move ahead and understand what is the procedure to have that license. The very first step is as per the RBI regulations, the applicant has to incorporate a public limited company under the Companies Act 2013, wherein the main purpose should remain to act as a payments bank. Now, after that, you file an application to the Chief General Manager of RBI to grant the payment bank license. Thereby, the External Advisory Committee shall assess the application and summon the applicant to validate the information given by him. Step 4. If an applicant successfully meets the eligibility criteria, then RBI shall grant him the license. Then you subsequent to the previous step, the name of the concerned applicant shall be displayed on the official RBI site. A 
and lastly after getting the consent to operate as a payment bank from the RBI the bank has to be set up within 18 months and if you are someone who's looking for an end to end assistance on obtaining a payment bank license we are here to assist you with the preparation of the payment bank license application to fulfill your other requirements so if you need any help or have any queries do contact us on the given details below and we will get back to you anytime very soon and i hope that you will contact us soon until then keep enjoying keep having fun i will see you in the next video take care